Molybdenum disulfide is an inorganic compound that is classified as a transition metal dichalcogenide. It has a two-dimensional structure similar to graphene and layer-dependent optoelectric properties which have encouraged much research on two-dimensional molybdenum disulfide-based devices. It contains strong covalent bonds within layers and weak van der Waals interactions between layers. In this video we will demonstrate how to build a molybdenum disulfide layer model. First, select the nanomaterial type as transition metal dichalcogenide, then choose molybdenum disulfide. The default nanomaterial shape for this model is box. As previously shown in the other tutorials, the x, y, and z lengths defines the molybdenum disulfide slab size in angstroms. Let's put 50, 50, and 6 in x, y, and z for size determination of molybdenum disulfide. You can check the number of MOS2 layers to be generated automatically in the unit cell info panel. If we increase the z-length from 6 angstroms to 10 angstroms, the number of layers also increases from 1 to 2. Let's leave the z-length at 10. Molybdenum disulfide contains bonds between neighboring unit cells, and a nanomaterial modeler supports periodic options to make these bonds. Currently, molybdenum disulfide only supports the XYPBC option, since there is no information available for surface end modification. In this tutorial, we will solve a molybdenum disulfide bilayer with water. Leave the system type as solvated and click the next button to proceed. You can check the generated structure by clicking view structure. In the water box size options, you can adjust the system size. As shown in previous tutorials, Nanomaterial Modeler provides two methods to adjust the water box size. Specify water box size and fit water box size to material size. In this tutorial, we will solvate the MOS2 bilayer with 20 angstrom water layers for both the top and bottom sides. Let's select the Fit Water Box Size to Material Size option and set the edge distance to 20 angstroms. In the Add Ions section, select Add Neutralizing Ions. Note that you must recalculate the number of ions after making any change. After clicking the Calculate Number of Ions button, click the Next button to proceed. Now we can check the solvated system generated from the previous step by clicking View Structure. We can see that the MOS2 bilayer structure is solvated with 20 angstrom water layers. Note that the final system size may be slightly different from the initial values of 50, 50, and 50 since the system size is approximated by an integer multiple of the unit cell size. Click the Next button to proceed to the input generation step. In this step, select the simulation software you want to run your simulation. After checking the software, set the temperature for equilibration and production runs. Click the Next button in the bottom right to generate simulation inputs. After a few minutes, download all input and output files by clicking the Download button. You can check the files of all previous steps after decompressing the TGZ file and read a simulation example in the README file under each simulation software directory. 